be much appreciated. Um, I wanted to go now specifically to the uh, Arrive Can uh, issue and the abuse of joint ventures uh, It's and its relationship to Indigenous contracting. As I'm sure you're aware, Dalian is a two-person company uh, that qualified as Indigenous. It formed a partnership with Karatex, and that partnership was able to obtain contracts under the Indigenous procurement set aside, even though Karatex has a substantial number of employees uh, and Dalian effectively uh, has just the two partners. Um, Dalian struggled to answer simple questions about the work they actually completed. And it would seem uh, that Dal- Dalian is there to allow uh, not the non-Indigenous company, Karatex, to obtain opportunities meant specifically for Indigenous uh, businesses, which, as I understand, <clears throat> is the objective of the program. Um, it, in your opinion... Um, do you see what happened in the case of Arrive Can as being an abuse of the program? I, I don't have a personal opinion on that uh, actual question. I'm, I'm following it like everyone else in terms of the audit, the Auditor General, and, and so on. Okay, uh, so the department um, hasn't, is, would this potentially be one of the uh, audit, uh, current audit, audits of the department? Yeah. Okay, um, got it. So, so we uh, we no longer have Dalian and um, joint venture companies with Dalian on the Indigenous Business Directory. Um, nor do we have any uh, contracts with Dalian or Coradix. They were suspended on March twelfth from the Indigenous Business Directory due to questionable factors being raised in the media, here in committee sessions, uh, and in fact, PSPC announced their suspension more broadly around the same time. Um, that's. Um, would you be able to indicate as to is if uh, Mr. David Yao was involved in the designing of the, of the program itself? We don't, we are not uh, able to confirm whether that fact, I do understand that there was information provided by Mr. Yao. Um, I can confirm, however, that uh, when the PSAB, as it was known at the time, was put in place, there was extensive consultation with many stakeholders, and it's possible that Mr. Yao, as a business owner, could have been one of them. 